This guide covers how to complete sales transactions at Plato's Closet. Step 1. Greeting the customer. Greeting the customer means giving an inviting welcome as soon as our guests open our front door. Eye contact and smiling are key for all of our greetings. An example of a top-notch greeting, Hi, you look like you're ready to check out. I can help you right here. Note, be kind, warm, and pleasant. You are the customer's last experience in the store, so make it a good one. Step two, preparing the product for selling. Start by removing all hangers from the items. Put the hangers on a hanger tree. Foobar alert. When it's busy, it can be tempting to rush and put hangers in a pile somewhere. Please resist. Customers don't mind waiting the extra couple of seconds to put these in the proper spot, but you and your coworkers will mind the mess that piles up quickly when we don't clean up as we process sales. Fold all items with the tags laying outside of the item. Lay all of the tags out on the same side, with the barcodes facing up for easy scanning. Keep an eye out for red hanger stamps. Red hanger stamps identify a clearance item. If you see clearance items, make sure to separate them from full price items when folding. Note, folding the clothing makes it easier for customers to carry their items to their car. For locations that do not have bags, this is non-negotiable. For all locations, folding is standard practice. We want to take good care of our guests. Scanning and discounting. Now that all the clothing is folded and ready to be scanned, it's time to scan it. First, we scan and discount any clearance items. Next, we scan everything else. Finally, if anything else should be discounted, we apply those discounts at the end. To start scanning, log into DRS. First, we scan in all the clearance items. You can identify clearance items by looking at the price tags. If they have a clearance stamp, then they are clearance items. After scanning everything in, physically count the items that should have been scanned and make sure that the number of items actually scanned in match. To apply the clearance discount, click F5, select Discount All, type in the appropriate percentage for the clearance, and hit Enter. After handling any clearance items, now it's time to scan in everything else. To do this, scan everything else into DRS just like you did with the clearance items. Again, double count everything that should have been scanned in to make sure that this number matches the items actually scanned into DRS. Note, sometimes we will need to override the price on something. This needs to happen right before we scan the item in, not after it's scanned in. Typically, price overrides are for deals such as buy one for seven and two for 12, Another example could be if a customer sold us a bunch of clothing, but then they changed their mind, so we're going to sell them back their items at cost. And there could be other examples as well, but either way, price overrides always must be done while scanning in the items. So for example, if you're scanning in two items that are buy one for seven or two for 12, you would click F5, click price override on next, hit enter, scan in the first item, type in the correct dollar amount, in this case $6, and then hit enter again. You'd repeat this process for the next item, also typing in $6. Typically, normal price items will not be discounted. However, there are occasions when we are running sales, the customer may have a coupon, or there could be some other situation where we need to apply discounts. There are three types of discounts for normally priced items. Buy something, get something free, a percentage or dollar off, or a price override. Buy something, get something free. Typically this will be like a buy two, get one free, but it could vary. Look over all the items that you've scanned in that qualify for this deal. Find the cheapest item that qualifies for the deal and locate the line number next to that line item. Click F5, select discount any, type in the number that corresponds with that line item that you identified, hit enter, type in 100% off to essentially make it free, and then press enter again. Percentage or dollar off. So a percentage off discount could apply to all items or just one item. Either way, click F5. If the discount applies to all items, click discount all. If it's a percentage off, type in the percentage off total. Or if it's a dollar amount, type in the dollar amount total. When you type in the dollar amount, it'll distribute this dollar amount amongst all the clothing. So it's an even percentage for each item. Note. If you scan discounted clearance items, you can still click Discount All here, 
DRS will not double discount the already discounted clearance items. For single item discounts, click on Discount NA, locate the line item of the item you want to discount, enter that line item into DRS, and type in the appropriate percentage off of that item, and then hit enter. Note, for specific dollar discounts, these can only be applied to all items, even if there is only one item. Step five, collecting payment. Click F10 and be friendly and communicate the total price to the customer. For example, all right, your total today is $1 million and make sure to smile. Next, select the payment type in DRS. There are five types of payments that we accept. Cash, card, store credit, gift card, and coupon. Cash. For a cash sale, click cash, type in the amount of money the customer gave you, hit enter. The cash drawer will pop open. Put the cash from the customer into the correct bill slot inside the cash drawer. Money in the cash drawer will be found as followed. Bills from left to right will be 100s and 50s, 20s, 10s, 5s, and 1s. Coins from left to right will be unopened rolls of coins, quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. In the upper right corner of the screen, you will see the amount of change due back to the customer. Count out the change so the camera can see you as you pull it from the drawer. Note, single quarters are 25 cents, single dimes are 10 cents, single nickels are 5 cents, single pennies are 1 cent. Quarter rolls are $10, dime rolls $5, nickel rolls $2, and penny rolls 50 cents. Count the money out a second time as you hand it to the customer. Credit card. Ask the customer what credit card type they are using and select it. Type in the amount of money the customer wants to put on the card. Note, you can split payment methods between multiple cards or cash and card. Once you've finished partially charging one card, you'll complete the steps again for the second card or press cash and follow the collecting payment instructions for cash. Then click enter. Let the customer know that they're good to insert their card into the credit card machine and follow the instructions. Once the customer has gone through all of the prompts, click enter. The cash drawer will pop. Store credit. Get the store credit slip from the customer. Note, before you click F10, you must select a customer. To do so, click F4. Type in the customer's last name, find the customer's first and last name, and hit enter. Then you can click F10. Find store credit and select it. Type in the amount the customer is looking to use of their store credit and hit enter. Gift card. In DRS, click gift card. Type in the amount the customer would like to use off of their gift card. If the customer doesn't know the amount on the card, go to the gift card terminal. Press the star key, press SPS gift, press balance, swipe the card, and the balance will be displayed on the screen. In the gift card terminal, press the star key, press SPS gift, press sale, and follow the instruction prompts on the terminal. Then you can go back to DRS. In DRS, type in gift card for the approval code. Hit enter and the drawer will pop. Coupon. Click coupon, type in the amount the coupon is worth and hit enter. If the payment type does not cover the entire amount due, let the customer know that X dollar amount was applied from the payment type amount and X dollar amount is still due. Then ask how they would like to pay for their remaining balance. Whoa, that was a lot of steps. That was a lot of F4s, F10s, F5s. Don't worry, you don't have to memorize all that stuff. We have a nice handy dandy little cheat sheet that looks like this and we keep this up by the registers at all the stores so if you're completing one of these sales collecting the payment you don't remember all the steps just pull this out and you'll be good to go step six completing the sale rip the receipt from the receipt printer thank the customer for choosing to shop with us at plato's while stapling the receipt flyer of the day to the receipt and set the receipt on top of the customer's items and hand the items to them let them know that we appreciate their business and to have a great day and always sprinkle in a little information about our upcoming event. 
All right, guys, I know that was a lot, but one thing that you cannot forget when we're doing sales is to tell the customers that we appreciate their business. They could have chosen any other resale shop to go sell to. They could have chose any other clothing store to go buy items at, and they chose Plato's Closet. When I was first told to use the word appreciate, it sounded silly to me. Who uses this word? Who says it? And the answer is not many. That makes us different. When we say, we appreciate your business, or we appreciate you choosing Play-Dohs, and thank you so much for coming in today, we appreciate you, it sets us apart from the rest. And I can say from personal experience, having somebody tell me when I was a customer that they appreciated my business, it felt different. So work this into your diction, role play in the mirror if you have to, get a hold of your manager or your DM, and every single sale, every single customer you encounter, thank them for coming into our store and let them know I appreciate you.